you know, this is Los Angeles, so I want to get this set right away, because I know you're all thinking this, because, you know, L.A. and all, but these are real. <laughs> See? You were wondering, weren't you? I knew it. Oh, it's so good. The weather's warming up. I love warm weather. I love to go to the beach, although I was, went to a beach in Florida, and I saw this woman breastfeeding her child in the water. Now, I got nothing against bre women breastfeeding anywhere they want. That's fine. Totally. It's perfectly natural. But I'm just thinking for the kid, you know, because she was like waist deep in the water and all that sea water. And I'm thinking, no, you know, that kid is going to grow up like in margaritas. <laughs> Kid's gonna be like, you know, I don't know why, but I've always liked that salty taste around the rim of my beverages. <laughs> uh, it's getting warm. I love the warm weather. I went to, I did some shows uh, for the troops in Iraq in July. Thank you. Thank you. Because if you're gonna go to Iraq, July is the time, you know. There's not as many tourists. It was really nice. It was so cool. It was one of the best experiences of my life. But I'm telling you, the language thing was weird. And I don't mean the people over there. I mean the soldiers. Because any of you guys that have know military people, they speak entirely in acronyms. You know? The person I'm supposed to meet up with is my POC point of contact. Their dining facility is the DFAC. They're like, all right, uh, we're going to take you to your POC. We're going to the FOB. We're going to the DFAC. And I'm like, uh, could I talk to the Arab guy? <laughs> I just wanted the whole time I was there, I felt like going, come on, use your words. Use your words. <laughs> it was cool, though. Yeah, I love doing it, you know, because I'm not really a political humorist. I don't, I think they're all crooked. I don't think, you know, Democrat, Republican, red state, blue state, I think they're all crooked. Right? <laughs> Especially the one running for president, because think about it, the person who wants to be president wants to be the leader of the free world. They got some power issues. I think if you want to be president of the United States, you should be automatically excluded. <laughs> I think from now on, the presidency of the United States should be determined somewhat like jury duty. One day you just walk out to your mailbox, ah, oh, to be president next month. <laughs> Maybe I can call in sick. <laughs> Hello, this is the president. <coughs> I don't feel very well. <laughs> uh.